Today what I'm going to show you to do is I'm going to show you how you can begin to make a coil pop. So the first thing you're going to need is we're going to start out with a piece of slab like this. I made it by just rolling it out on the slab roller and I'll show you guys how to do that a little bit later on. Um, but you're going to start with a half inch piece of slab and you're going to want to try to smooth it out a little bit first. Now our first step is we want to create a base. So we're going to go in with some kind of circular form, either a cup or anything that's round like this. You don't want to make your base too big. Um, we want to keep it fairly small so that we have room to build the shape of our base. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with this pin tool. It's just a little pointy tool. And I'm going to go in and I'm first going to trace a circle of my object. I'm then going to go in and I'm going to cut that circle out. And this is going to be the base for your whole pot. So you want to be careful when you do this and you want to try to get it nice and even. Okay, so it's going to be something like that. After I have my base, I want to go in and I want to smooth it. I want to clean it up a bit and I want to make it really nice because that's what I'm going to start building my pot on. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my base off to the side and I'm going to begin to roll out my coils. So I'm just going to start by taking a piece of clay like this and I'm going to compress it between my hands. So I'm doing this to get rid of any air bubbles, any little pockets in the clay that I might not want in there. After I compress my clay, I'm gonna put it on the table and I wanna roll it out from my fingertips all the way to my palm. So you wanna make sure that you have enough space to roll out. And I'm just gonna start rolling out in the center and kind of working out to the edges. So if you start to get any bigger pieces, just kind of push on those a little bit harder. And we're just gonna kind of work our way out. If you feel like you get bigger pieces on the ends, you could just pinch those off and put them to the side and we can rework those for our next coil. So you don't wanna make these too, too thin because we do want them to stack nicely on top of each other to create your form, but you don't wanna make them too thick either. Um, so I'm gonna go again, I'm gonna grab my base and I'm gonna do something now that's called slipping and scoring. And score marks are pretty much just little hatch marks in the clay, kind of like when we did our pen and ink drawing. So you're gonna make some of those, and then you're gonna make them on one side of your coil where you plan to attach it. So they don't have to be anything too perfect, just some little marks. Um, what these are gonna do is they're going to absorb the slip. Now slip is pretty much just clay mixed with water, and I'm gonna put a little bit on one side. Um, you can use your finger, you can use a tool, whatever you prefer. And you're just gonna add a little to the one side. Then I'm gonna go in and I'm going to attach my coil. And I want to cut it off so that I'm only building one coil at a time. The reason for that being is so that you get a nice even form. And then you're going to want to smooth that together. You can even add a little bit of extra clay on top and just kind of smooth that out. Okay. So there's your first coil. After this, uh, depending on the shape of the vase you make, you're either going to want to build it in or out. Now I'm not going to attach this next coil. I just want to kind of show you what it would look like as you build in and out. So I'm going to take two just so I can kind of show you guys. Now if you want to start going out, you're going to slowly rest your coils as you build them up towards the outside. And as you do that, it's going to gradually go out. So I'm not attaching these just so I could show you guys, but I'm not putting it all the way out like that, otherwise it's going to start to flop over on you. Just kind of slowly and they'll gradually go out over time. Um, the same thing if you want to start to build it in. You're just going to rest your coils towards the inside slowly, and you can see how that's starting to gradually go in. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and decide that I want this to start going out. And I'm just going to attach my next coil on top. So I'm going to make more scratch marks. And 
And remember, these are called score marks. And then you're gonna add a little slip. So like I said, you could use your finger, you could use a tool. And I'm just adding a little bit of this and just to one side. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna attach that on. gradually to the outside. And if you find that your coils are not the same in size or they're not matching up evenly, you could always go back in and just add a little bit more clay on and just make sure that you're smoothing it in so that it becomes nice and even. Um, because the evenness of your coils is really going to help you with your pop. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one to the side and show you one that I had been working on earlier and has firmed up a little bit. So after you get two or three coils on, you're gonna to wanna to go in and you're gonna to wanna to start smoothing them because we're gonna be putting decorative paintings on. So I just like to take my thumb and you're just gonna go in and you're just gonna smart start to smooth the coils in. Um, you can support it from the inside with your hand. And as it gets taller, you could do this while it's resting on the table. Um, but for now, because it is small, I do like to kind of pick it up, and I think it's a little bit easier to smooth. Um, but it's completely up to you. So this is step one, and you're just going to kind of continue following these steps until you get the shape of the base you want. Uh, so that's all I have for you guys today.